As the strongest fraud in history, Jean fought the Queen of Lament Xianyun. She opened her domain, Sunfire 100 Pyro Applications. Xianyun effortlessly plunged away the domain and said, Stand proud, Jean. You are strong. Hello there, Flip here, and today we're going to be doing a dive into the discussion of who's the better character, Jean or Zhang Yun. This is because they share a role commonality being Onimo healers, yet they still have some differences separating them that I would like to lay out here so you can get a better picture of where these character strengths lie, and whether you want to pick up Zhang Yun due to this. But before we do that, as always, if at any point during the video you're entertained or informed, make sure to drop a like and even consider subscribing, as I talk on various topics regarding Genshin's meta and I'll try to keep you updated. Now without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off, I don't think there's a better way to talk about healers other than comparing their healing, and by extension fan for generation. So I decided to calculate both Jean and Cloud Retainer's healing. To start off on Cloud Retainer, on Oaths- oh my fuck. On the eye, she heals for an initial tick of 11,536, and a continuous tick of 3,461. On Hawkishin, her initial healing tick is 10,636, with a continuous tick of 3,100. For the Zajef weapon, she heals for 10,188, with follow-up ticks of 3056. And for the best catalyst in the game, Thrilling Tales, she heals for 8603 initially, with continuous ticks of 2581. Moving off of the hottest Onimo unit to a less attractive one. Looking at Jean on only Favonia since she doesn't really have other weapon options, her initial heal tick is 19,815 and she ticks for 1982 afterwards. For overall healing, Jean is actually technically better, but because of Furina's join afterwards and the fact that Jonyun has longer lasting healing, your entire team is going to be healthier with Jonyun on the team rather than just the active character. And in terms of fan for generation, after a long schizophrenic brainstorming session, I've come to the conclusion that Birdmom is better at generating fanfare there too. When I was discussing this on stream and in my last video, people mentioned the fact that Jean is able to frontload a lot of stacks, which is a positive. However, there are two issues with this. One being Johnny and also frontloads a lot of stacks, about 150 fanfare at 50% HP. And when accounting for things like Furina's Drain, which within 8 seconds is about 100 fanfare, overall, Cloud Retainer ends up max stacking fanfare within their first healing tick 2.5 seconds after her burst is cast. And she does this at every HP starting threshold above 50%. Where Jean can't actually max stack fanfare quicker than Jon Yun in most cases. If you start rotations above 75% HP with Jean, most of your frontloaded healing is wasted and Jean's continuous healing will trigger max fanfare later than Birdmon. And if you are below 75% HP, then you lose the fanfare gained by Furina's Drain, which is 12 a second team wide, so that's a decent loss there. The only time where Jean is faster is when you are around the 75% HP margin, as you get the full drain while also frontloading 200 stacks, so you are instantly at 300. Now with all this in mind, even though Jean's healing is theoretically higher and she also theoretically can max stack fanfare faster, Jonyeon's healing being longer lasting and consistently team wide results in better survivability, and her maxing out fanfare is also more consistently faster, so I'm giving the point to the Cranacy. The next thing I need my Onma woman to do besides healing is support me and my team, financially, emotionally, sexually. And with that said, let's look at both of these character supportive traits. Besides healing, Jean... Hmm. Without constellations, Jean doesn't really do anything besides healing. If anything, she gives you anti-support by dashing enemies 100 yards away and doing a 180 turn whenever she bursts for whatever fucking reason. But she still does have some other utility baked in through her cleanse which removes and swirls elemental auras off of you. Now in isolation, this isn't that impactful, though when combined with Bennett you get the Sunfire reaction which gives you a shit ton of pyre application. Being able to shield break ridiculously fast and enable some teams like Melt or Overvape. Which the Jean variants are kind of outdated now, but they definitely exist. And weapon wise, Jean pretty much just has Favonius as a supportive weapon, and Freedom Sworn too, I guess. Shout out to the 20 people that have it. But for utility and support, Jonin is a clean sweep. She enables plunge attacks and also buffs plunges by quite a huge margin. This means that characters like Zhao, Hu Tao, Deluc, Rizzler, anyone who can incorporate plunges into their combos will get a decent boost to their damage. Being an Onimo Catalyst allows her to hold one of the best supportive weapons in the game, the Thrilling Tales, on teams like Raiden or Zhao. Speaking of Catalyst, actually, she's able to drive very offensive Taser variants with Furina, which is also a plus. And to top it off, she has grouping that is actually pretty strong. Some people like a good friend of mine claimed that her grouping wasn't going to be worth it without actually having the gameplay to back that claim up. So you really, really don't want to be like this man and wait for concrete info to come out. 
On the topic of her grouping, actually, people have posted clips of it not grouping certain enemies, so I'll have to explain why that is the case as it's getting extremely doom posted. To get a sucked in Genshin, pause. You will also have to break the enemy's poise. Poise breaking doesn't mean you have to actually stagger the enemies, but they do go hand in hand mostly. Every attack in Genshin, even some movements that don't do damage like Xingqiu's burst activation, deal a certain amount of poise damage. In some of the clips shown, they are either using her grouping against poise immune enemies, or they are not doing enough poise damage beforehand. Cloud Retainer's elemental skill does 150 poise damage. This is enough to group almost every single light or small enemies as those enemies have 120 or less poise. But for some heavier enemies, they will have 210 to 280 poise. But this is going to be extremely easy. Cloud Retainer is always cast after Furina. Furina's skill and burst without even accounting for her summons will do 140 poise damage, which with John Yin is enough to CC pretty much every enemy that is in poise immune. So yes, she has pretty good grouping and she overall has better supportive capabilities at C0. Let's now talk about constellations. A lot of people, if you've been playing for a long time, may have additional copies of Jean. So I got a lot of questions regarding Jean's constellations and how impactful they would be for the comparison, mainly C2 and C4. C2 is easier to talk about, so regarding the attack speed buffs, they aren't actually that impactful for most of the melee characters. For Raiden, using her optimal N4 spam combo, I was only able to get at most one more attack onto it, whether that's another N1 or a charge attack. The N1 gives you an extra Yolan wave and the CA is more AoE and more damage from Raiden. Either way, it balances out to be about the same. And this is not as impactful as being able to add a TTDS buff to your Raiden team, so it's not an increase for Raiden over Zhen Yun. For Hu Tao, assuming you're doing N2C, you can get one more charge attack combo in, which is about a 9% increase to her damage. And that's actually pretty solid, but from what I've calculated, it's still not as good as being able to incorporate plungers into Hu Tao's combos. So do it that what you will, Jean even with C2 would still be worse than using the crane. And for her C4, which reduces Anmo res affecting Zhao teams, resistance shreds multipliers are actually halved once they reach 0% and go into the negatives. Farzon already shreds resistances by 30%, so on most enemies that have 10% resistance, Farzon will first shred 10 to reach 0, and then the 20% after that is reduced down to 10, leaving the enemy at 10% resistance and making the enemy take 22% more honor damage than it did before. Then adding on Jin's 40% will shred resistances by 20%, dealing 18% more damage. So in terms of buffing, they would relatively be equal there, is what I would say if Jin's field didn't last only 10 seconds out of Zhao's 18 second field time. So over Overall, again, Zhang Yin is just a better mom, not even factoring her own constellations or signature weapon which makes this comparison more unfair. So again, and like the entire video has been pointing towards, Zhang Yun is just a better mother, which makes sense canonically as she also has two children where Jean only has one. And that's pretty much all there is to talk about. Jean technically has higher healing, but because of how front-loaded it is, most of it generally goes wasted and won't keep your team as healthy as with Zhang Yun. With fanfare generation, because again, less of Zhang Yun's healing is wasted, her fanfare generation is consistently maxing out at the same speed within about 9 seconds, at all HP margins, where Jean can theoretically be faster but it's not consistent consistent enough or easy to measure. For supportive utility, Jean kind of has nothing where Chad Yun has pretty solid grouping while also buffing and enabling plunging, whilst also being able to drive and hold good support of weapons like the only 3 star weapon TTDS. And lastly, even with constellations, the C2 attack speed buff isn't as impactful as using plunge combos, and her C4 is too short on Zhao teams to be a large factor. So to wrap this neatly, Zhang Yun is kind of just better, and it's not that close. Well. In terms of a character to character comparison, Zhang Yun does come out on top in basically every category. However, the only thing to really discuss now is whether if you have a gene, is she a justifiable enough increase to warrant pulling her? Unless you have a C4 gene lying around for Zhao teams, I would just pull Zhang Yun. But for everyone else, if you have a gene, I don't think it's necessary to also then have Zhang Yun, especially if there are already resources into your gene. Zhang Yun is a pretty solid increase for Raiden, Hu Tao, and Risley, but so is getting their signature weapons, or constellations. So unless you love CR, which I do, please marry me, or you like the plunge playstyle of the fact that she groups, then it's fine to just not pull her. If you don't have a gene but you have a Furina, then I would be a lot more likely to then recommend pulling Cloud Retainer, as there is no guarantee that you can ever get a gene. And with that, thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed the video make sure to like, subscribe and comment your thoughts on this matchup, as I'd love to hear and respond to almost every single comment. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Peace.